on, let's take a look at number seven. So we have, in a certain school, 17% of students are enrolled in a psychology course, 28% in foreign language, and 32% are enrolled in either or. So let's, let, let me write this down. I like to start with the information I know. So we've got the probability that someone is in a psychology course is 0.17. Probability that someone's in a foreign language course is 0.28. And then the probability that they're in one or the other is 0.32. So that's the information I was given. And let's see what they're asking us for. It says, what is the probability that a student chosen at random from the school <clears throat> excuse me, will be enrolled in both a foreign language course and a psychology course? So they're asking us to find the and. So what they're looking for is what's the probability of P and FL, so psychology and foreign language. Well, if I think about the formulas I'm allowed to use, I'm not given any information on whether or not these events are independent or if they're disjoint. So all I can use is formula one or two. Those are my options. And if we think about formula one, that's the probability of A or B. Oops, let me write the letter B. And then I've got some of that formula, right? And then formula two is the probability of A given B. Actually, let me write these out just so we can reference them. So this would be the probability of A plus probability of B minus any overlap. All right, and this would be the probability of A and B over the probability of B. Those are the two formulas I'm allowed to use. And what I look at, when I look at what's given to me, I see I was given an or and I'm asked for an and, right? And so here's the or and the and, that's looking pretty good there. And if I look at formula two, it's got a conditional probability, which is great, it's just I wasn't given any information on that. So I'm gonna lean towards using this formula, but instead of A and B, right, I'm gonna swap out P and FL. So let's go ahead and write that, and I'll just scribble this off to the side. So I want the probability of P or FL, so psychology or foreign language, it's the probability of P plus the probability of FL minus any overlap. And keep in mind, and I'll color code this, let's go with blue, I want this. This is the, the term they're asking me to find, right? That's what I was asked to solve for. And actually, I was given the other three. So we were told this was 0.32. I was told this was 0.17, this was 0.28, and here's the variable I'm solving for. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. This is 0.32, that would be equal to, well, 17 and 28 is 45. And I'm going to subtract 45% from each side. And I would have, what, negative 0.13 here would be equal to negative of the probability I'm looking for. So technically what I would want to do is divide both sides by negative one, but I think we can see at this point that the probability of a student taking a psychology and a foreign language class is equal to 0.13. And let's see, yep, there's that answer right there. All right, thanks so much everyone, bye.